Hello everyone. So today, uh, in this episode of the Top Down Shooter series, I am going to work on how to make the character aim on this ground location where you see this reticle. So this is what we are going to work on today. So here, uh, we can shoot exactly where we want to shoot. Here we have some enemy. Now here you can see I can target exactly where I need and my reticle goes there as well. Alright, let's see how to do this today. And before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that I have done in my channel from the patreon page so once you become a member you can access anything without any limits and this character is based on this uh, older third person shooter series that i have done so all the weapons characters ai systems everything is implemented here this episode uh, this series is only focusing on how to adapt the same systems into a top-down shooter so you can watch the previous episodes as well in this series and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support okay so as of the end of the previous episode this is where we stopped my character can now move around in the top down view the inputs are working related to the camera but I can't, my character is not still properly aiming in the top down mode. So that's what we want to work on now. Alright, so to handle that, first thing is I need to determine where my cursor would be. And for that, I need to show the cursor. So, alright, now let's go to our top down player controller and here in the tick let's uh, implement a way to determine the position in the world where my cursor would overlap with so for that we can use this d project screen to world and here player controller would be this class which is self and the screen position is get mouse position and here we can give x and y as the screen position right now if i draw debug sphere we can see where this position what what this position gives us so let me keep it for let's say one second and draw right now here now you see this in red i can see my care where my cursor is i can see where my cursor is okay then um, but this is a point in the world we, you can see that if i do this well let me increase this oh, let's say 10 seconds and draw a few of them press f8 and here you see this is where my points are so they are closer to the camera's plane so that's why they appear here now to determine the point that it would project into the surface of the game world or whatever the object that overlap with this point in the space that matches with the cursor point 
I can do a line trace. So let me remove this. Let's do a line trace by channel. And I'll use this point as a start. And this point, let's multiply this by some value. Let's say 5000 units and add it to this point so that I can get a position in the direction of the projection that points outward from the camera to the world. So yeah, that should be the end point. Here I give it for duration. Now, now here you can see this dot is the head position. If I move, see, if I do, uh, now here you can see the line. I don't see the line when I am in the control, but if I unpossess the character, now I can see the line here. This is where the camera was. Okay, now we have a way to determine the location on the ground even if there is a character it would be on the character on top of the character so like this so we can correctly aim enemies as well all right now we know how to get this location so if we do get a hit let's break this and i'll promote this location as the what should we call this let's call this target location so this is the target my player controller if we don't have a hit well i don't need to put anything okay now uh, i need to make my character rotate towards this target location so we can easily do that if i do this set control rotation now the control rotation should be from the character towards this towards this target location so get controlled for get actor location and find look at rotation from the actor towards this location and set that now here you see my character is looking at the direction that I am pointing on the ground. Cool. Now the next uh, step is even though my character can't point there, it's not shooting. It's shooting towards the middle of the screen because that's how I had it set up for the single player so to fix that let me first show you how I get the location to shoot that is done through here we have a function called get target location I think Get target location. So this is what I do. If it is player controlled, I get the middle point and the project to the world, and then I find the world point that would that overlaps with the middle point of the screen, and give it as the location that we are going to target. So this is fine for single player mode. 
but I don't want to change the code here because I want to make sure that my uh, character keep working with the third person game mode as well for example here if I switch the game mode to third person you can see things are still working without any issue so I want to keep the compatibility there as well so for that we can do something like this we can move this part into the player controller because i'm using a different player controller for the third person mode and the top down mode so let me copy this uh but not yet actually need to copy here if i switch to sing third person game mode in the player controller let me open this here we have this CLM BPI player controller interface here I'll add a new function get target location it should return a vector target location okay I'll also define a category CLM BPI control it's not okay all right anyway now we have this function let's implement this function in the ls player controller ah oh, here now i copied no did i copy let's go back here and copy this logic which takes care of getting the middle point copy and come back to the player controller test yeah here instead of target we have to give this target location all right everything else is fine because we are not really using any specific variables that we had defined in the character class okay so this is fine now i'll use this function in place of this logic so let me remove this if this character is player controlled i'll get controller and get target location make sure to use clm bpi player controller not this one and return this now make sure things are still working I can still shoot without any issue okay so now let's switch back to our top down game mode now in the top down game mode also top down player controller I'll implement that interface BPI CLM BPI player controller. Now here we have get target location. Here I'll simply return this target location we have calculated already. Now I should be able to shoot. Okay.
Now my character is shot in where I point. Right. The next step is make sure my cursor moves to this location that I point in the world. By cursor I mean this reticle that you see in the middle. And uh, I'll do that in the next episode. So thanks again for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And project files will be available for download. Uh, and I leave the link in the description below for this and the full playlist. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.